Let me ask you a question. Have you made any immediate inferences today? Ah, hmm. Our study of the square of opposition and Aristotelian logic reveals that we can make some immediate inferences by simply walking around the square of A, E, I, and O standard form categorical propositional types. An immediate inference is an inference that we can make without any other proposition as the intermediary. That's why we call them immediate inferences. Let me give you an example. Suppose I start with a type E proposition, no snakes are mammals. And now you know that what this means is that no member of the category snake is also a member of the category mammal. But let's suppose we flip the subject term and the predicate term. Does it immediately follow that no mammals are snakes? Ah, yes it does. This is the immediate inference process called conversion, conversion, where we flip the subject term and the predicate term. Now, it works for type E propositions, and it also works for type I propositions, but it doesn't work for type A propositions, and it doesn't work for type O propositions. Interesting for you to find out why. It has to do with the distribution, the distribution of the subject term and the predicate term. Now, there's another immediate inference type that actually does work for all four standard form categorical propositional types. And this one is called obversion. And to obvert a standard form categorical proposition, we simply do two things. We change the predicate term to its complement, and we change the quality, either positive or negative, the quality of the proposition. So, for instance, let's say we started with the, the notion that... Um, all ants are insects. That's a type A. What would be the obverse? Well, we change the quality. So instead of all uh, ants are insects, we're going to say no ants are something, and we simply uh, change the predicate term to its complement. What is the complement of the predicate term? Insects? Non-insects. Ah. Complementarity is a well-known notion in mathematics because it has an underlying logical footprint and a logical basis. The complement class to any other class are all things that are not in the other class. So, for instance, there's the ca category ant, and the complement category to ant is non-ants. Now, if you obvert and walk around the square of opposition using the immediate inference of obversion, you will find that obversion does work as an immediate valid inference in type A, type E, type I, and type O propositions. And again, the reason this happens is because of the distribution of the subject and the predicate terms. Distribution is the little gutty what that makes standard form categorical logic work. And that will be the subject of our next video.